Hello, Nick here. Fallout 4 Survival Let's Play might be a, a sort of normal do the video, put it out, or it might be a cut together series. Still not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I think I'll have to have um see how long how how oh, words how long the videos turn out to be. Sort of just going to try and aim for sort of 15 minutes a piece. I think that's fair enough, especially since survival you have to take everything a lot slower than before. So um, let's jump in. Right, I am recording. I have audio recording. Jesus Christ. Okay. Here we go. Feel like the th you know, well, this is the third time I've said this. I'll keep quiet over the intro video so you can all enjoy it. My great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. Okay, and we're back. Let's let's speed this up, Mr. Soul Survivor or Soul Survivor S. Come on. Uh, okay, there we go. Right. Face. Let's start off with the bump that out a bit. Oh dear. Pull that down a bit. Where's the? There we go. Oh, oh dear. Looks like he's got a bloody light bulb on his face. Uh, do that. Is that crooked? Stay still, that is crooked. Let's jump that down. Right, so, trying to think what I can talk about. Um, I mean, I covered most of it in the video we put out last night. I can 
do a little bit about me. Uh, yeah, name's Nick. Um, I do not do not know what else I could say about that. That is my name. Congratulations. You are all now my best friends. Um, I work part-time at a shopping centre, as does everyone my age, which is great fun. Um, obviously, if this takes off, then I will try and get into this full-time, but um, can't really see that happening, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, been playing games for, cr well, since 1999 now. Yeah, so what's that? That's 10, holy shit, nearly 20 years. Oh god, that makes me feel old. Um, what was my first ever game? I think, I think one day I got bought a PS1. And I can't remember what it was for. But, um, what was the, I think it was F1 1999 was the first game I had for it. Um, yeah, that probably started my love of racing games, I'd say. Um, yeah, then eventually I got a PS... I was very much a Sony kid, up until very recently, sort of relative to everything else. Um, what did I have? I had a PS2, got that in, two, yeah, 2003, because I had a F1 2003 for that. You'll probably notice a bit of a pattern here. Um, oh, I played it. Oh god, all of the Ratchet and Clanks. All of the Jack and Daxters. Oh no, except for the first one, actually. I think, yeah, because it went Jack 1, 2, 3, and then they had that horrible racing game that came out. That's what buried the franchise on console, as far as I can tell. Um, then I eventually got a Nintendo DS, a PSP, those are both long gone. Um, mm. Then, the well, I think it was 2008, the year I started secondary school, I finally got an Xbox. So that was, f that was something. Um, I think I sort of played a few Halo games around friends' houses. It was, I enjoyed it, so I thought, why not get into that? Um, now I don't, well I have an Xbox One but that's in the cupboard because well I've spent probably uh, I'll tell you a fair amount of money on the computer that you are now watching gameplay off um, what have I got, I've got an i5 4440 so it's not anything incredible um, GTX 9 70, that's the one, um, 8 gig of RAM, Ooh, all of that, um, yeah obviously there'll be some upgrades coming on, coming in in the future, um, definitely the CPU at first, I think, that I need to sort that out, that's not good, um, oh, well his face is done, um, Yeah, um, I have the odd bit of kit, you know, not got, well, Razer mouse, it's Razer, Razer Naga, that's the one it is. A £15 wireless keyboard, that's definitely something to be ashamed of. Um, what else is there? I'm trying to think. Oh, I have a, uh, what is it, a Thrustmaster T300 steering wheel with the um, GTE Ferrari rim. You know, because, well, I play a lot of racing games and I plan to get into them a lot more seriously now. I have a PC and I just can't really justify spending, well, the £300 you would on a steering wheel for PC on a steering wheel for one console. That doesn't make sense. PC has a lot more opportunities, I think, than consoles and it's definitely something to get into at the moment. Um, I would say this guy's all done, to be honest. There's what? There we go. That's that's how you do it. Let's just change all these. I hate where he looks all pocked up and stuff. It just 
doesn't. Ugh. Right, I would say that is good. Let's. Hmm. Now. No, I don't want to have a stupid fat character. Get out of breath running to Diamond City. Let's leave it there. I think that's fair. Right then. You are the chosen one. Oh no, that's Fallout 2. You are the sole survivor. Let's get a look at you. Alright, let's go walkies. Uh, see the baby. Let's go see the baby. Hello, baby. Yay. Right. Um, oh, down this way. So I see this. Oh, hello. Yep, drink that. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, newspaper. Yep, hello Codsworth, Robo Butler. Oh my lord, he's still going. Um, yeah, so in case you hadn't noticed, this isn't an atomic wasteland yet. Fallout 4 starts off on the day, actually, of the, well, you'll see that soon enough, of the war. I think this is just obviously establishing that you are a family man. Oh my god, look at him go. Cleaning plates. That's awesome. I've never seen that happen before. Right then. Oh, there goes the baby. Oh. Let's go through this. Oh, why can't we go out? I see. I think that's Ron Perlman. Is it Ron Perlman? I'd say that's Ron Perlman, because obviously he used to narrate the intro videos that you just watched, but I think they chose to sort of go like this route with it, where your player, obviously, because it's a spoken role, this game, which is the first time in the series, actually. So I think they, oh, here he comes. Yeah, I think they went with him on the TV to sort of let you understand your character a bit. Oh... This lovely fellow. Oh, oh, keyboard's having a bit of a stroke. There we go. Good morning! <laughs> hmm. Who are Vault Tech? Oh, such a nice fellow this guy is. Oh, I do love it when they do ramble on. I'm sure it is. Hmm. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> That's definitely a response I'd give. <laughs> See, right, well, well cause I've got the subtitles on so you can obviously read. I think he's post, obviously where he works for vault there's a big theory going on that they actually started the war to obviously get people into their vaults. Now I'm not sure, but I think this guy is actually aware of that, and he's obviously, well, he wants you to get into the vault to save your life. Um, yeah, underground vault, save the war, sounds great. No, oh, there we go. Oh, I can control. Oh, oh dear. Sure thing. <sighs> hmm. Archibald Jabberwocky. Hmm. What name can we go with? Because obviously Codsworth speech with names, so we want something for... Hmm... Tell you what, let's just, we'll, we'll just use my name, full name, Nicholas. Hmm. Yep, there we go. Oh, oh what is... Oh, 
my keyboard is having a bit of a moment. Oh my lord. Yep, there we go. Right then, strength. Oh, see, this is all going to factor in with survival, obviously. Let's go. Oh. Right, let's go. Charisma will have seven. Intelligence, seven. Perception. Oh, this is six, six. Endurance, three. Perception, four. Strength, four. Just chuck one more in those and we'll bump luck up because. Oh no, I'll tell you what. Let's leave intelligence down. Oh, agility. We need. Oh, we need points in agility. Oh dear. Right, there we go. That'll do. How rude. You just shut the door in his face, the poor guy. I do love it when the dog goes off on one. Now then, are you working keyboard? Yep, yeah, right. Oh, that's right, I've got to go look at the baby. Let's go see the baby. Hello. Ah, <gasps> Gookie, 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 gookie. Fun. God, look at that. His neck is so thick. Oh dear. Oh boy. Okay. This is it. Down the street we run. Where is everyone? Oh, there they are. So very nice outside, though. Let's, let's catch up a bit. Oh, it's all kicking off, isn't it? Bloody hell. Look at everyone go. Yeah, we are. <gasps> Look at that cool power armor. I want it. I want it now. Oh, here we go. Helicopter. Run, 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 run. Wait for the old mistress and the baby. Oh, what a nice guy. Well, there it is. Oh shit. <laughs> it does go slow, doesn't it? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. We did it. We made it. Okay. So here we are, Vault 111. Now obviously, if you've played Fallout before, 
you know that these vaults can sometimes be a bit what's the word a bit deceptive there we go or a bit 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 off a bit weird in how they protect you from the war and the wasteland all of that oh boy I think these vaults like look a lot nicer than they did in Fallout 3. It was very just boring in 3. And, well, New Vegas obviously as well. Oh, oh, get off me door. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, Mr. Russell. Bloody hell. What now? Okay, mister. We'll follow you. Oh, very. I have to admit, it was quite nice, like playing this for the first time, to sort of be in the pre-war Boston and all of that, seeing what it was like. I think the way they did this with the whole retro 50s, or, well, futuristic 50s aesthetic was very interesting, shall we say. <coughs> right then. Oh, baby's not happy. I'm not going far. Just be over there. There we go. Okie doke. Right, in we go. Let's get this. Let's get this done. Let's get decontaminated. have it. Mm. So obviously if you've played or read or seen any science fiction-y things, you will know that what has just happened is we have been put into cryo. Oh, there we go. Now get ready for all of the plot in your face. Just right now. All of it. Just boom. Straight in. Open it. Such a gruff old man. Jesus. Can I look around? Oh, I can. Oh dear. Can get a better look at this guy. Oh, oh, I can bang on the. D I did not know this. I have literally just found this. Oh my lord! Oh, they shot. Oh, they shot her. I did not know you could do this. That's cool. Oh, you bastard! Oh, there we go. Back into the fridge. Oh. And there we go. Come on, this is just... I want to get into the game now. It does go on a bit too long, I think. There we go. Oopsie daisy. Up you get. Come on, come on, come on. Oh there we go. Come on, open the door. Let's get a wedding ring, we'll flog that. Oh, that's so cruel. Yoink. Don't 
touching. Right then, let's see if anyone else is alive. Oh, they are not. Oh, 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 oh. oh. It was just the lighting. Hello? Hmm. Anyone? All right then, let's get going. Oh, that's just more cryo. <coughs> let's go through down here. Let's check that survival is actually on. I think it is. Gameplay, survival. Yep, there we go. Right then. Grab that. It's in here. Let's have a loot. Oh, Stimpat. Take that. I think that's it. That's everything. Right then through here. Take that, we can sell oh dear. Punch. Giant roaches? What the hell? Oh, get a holotape from here. Just take that. Eject that, there you go. That's an achievement right there. Have a, have a sippy sip. Go around the big sparky thing. Oh dear. That's a good block. Christ. Oh, that's a big one. Punch that. There's another one. Take all the meat. More stim packs. Gun. There we go. Another gun. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Don't want those. Take those. What's in here? Take those. Is there anything? What's in here? Nothing. Nothing. Nice. Gun. Come back later for you. Right then, let's. Is there anything else here to take? Let's have a look. Oh, bobby pin, money. I think that's everything. Right, let's get the door open and get out of here. Uh, let's see what this vault was. Vault 111 designed to test long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Oh, there we go. And then obviously, if you've uh, played Fallout before, you know that all of, the, near enough all of the vault we experienced went tits up at some point or another. Hence. Yeah. Where is everyone? Get the gun out. No, oh, oh dear. Bang. 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 Oh, baby one. <laughs> Grab all of the meat. Sell that. Open this. Where are we going now? Oh, there we are. Now, there's another rat roach that somehow appears, just out of nowhere. Where's that preserved fox suit? There we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Oh, great shooting, Nick. Christ. Right, let's get us a pit boy. Ugh. It's lovely. Tell you what, it's fun, because obviously I bought the uh, Pip-Boy edition of this, managed to somehow pick that up. Playing with the Pip-Boy is fun, you know, but it's definitely more of a, um, definitely more of a uh, decorative feature, shall we say. Put that over to one, have all the meds at the end of the number pad. What have we got? Can I wear two wedding rings? No. Eat that. Yum yum. Okay, here we go. Finally getting out of here. There we go. And punch. Oh 
looks so just confused as to what is happening here. Don't look over there, look at the door, that's where all the action's at. Such a, such a good opening sequence this game has. I really do like it. Hmm. Paper. It's down there. Oh, I should probably be. Oh, the God Razor. Real with this game. Jesus Christ. Right, out we go. Run, run, run. Jump. Jump. Oh, what a fail. Jump. There we go. Just looks so so swole. Look at me. Come. Everything is so slow. All right, let's get out of here. Hmm. Sure, I will. Look at them. Everywhere. But come on. Look at that. I mean just 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 look at that. Just wow, I mean, yeah, wow, that's just, <laughs> gets me every time. Okay, down the hill, far away, Teletubbies come to play. Jump down, oh, there we go, great start to this. Jesus Christ, right, up we go. Honey, I'm home. Do 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 And oh Codsworth is still here. <laughs> Forgive me if I don't sound too excited about this. I've played through this game about four times now, so obviously I know everything that happens, but hopefully it's still a treat for you. Obviously I'll play as in like the dialogue that I choose will be like, Oh my god, this is the first time I've played the game. You're still here? Hundred years. Are you a bit over two hundred and ten, actually, sir? Or give or ten, you know. The Earth's rotation is the minor dignities to the old chronometer. He's just off his rock as Codsworth is. Oh boy. You just don't shut up. Are you okay? So yeah, obviously, well, it's telling you up in the top left there, but all of the um, dialogue options that are coloured 
our charisma checks. So, we'll, as we play, we'll try and do the odd one of those, unless it doesn't really fit our character's playthrough. I mean, I'm, I'd never read really play as the mercenary type, to be honest. I don't... well, I mean, I might have to, this one, with survival. Because it's going to be a lot harder to buy and afford and all that with food, water, drugs. Oh, he's still going on, in he? Look, about bloody... Polish him... oh boy, stay with me, Codsworth. Good lord. Aww. Oh. It just gets better and better, doesn't it? Hmm. Thank you, Cosworth. <laughs> Sniff. Yeah, there we go. Yes, we will. Good man. Off you go. Oh. Oh. What was that? That was a bloke fly, wasn't it? Oh. Oh, yeah, take those food. Oh, we're going to have to raid all of these bloody houses, aren't we, for food? So, I'll catch up in a bit, Codsworth. I'm going look see. Oh, yes, yeah, stim pack. That will do. Let's see. Oh boy, one bobby pin. Oh, there we go. Take those, take those, take those, take those, take those, take those. I'll take the pipe pistol as well. Oh, take the blood pack too, actually. Yellow fedora. Nah. Oh, we can level up. Right then, so... Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh boy. <coughs> oh. Professional class recording quality excellence. Right, anyway. Um, so we need to focus this really about survival. So I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn between lead belly and toughness, really. I mean, Medic will do next level, I think. Because we need to get that up, because obviously stim packs are going to help us out a lot. Cause I, I do like to fight a little bit. Um, we'll, we'll go toughness, I think that's a good place to start, really. Right, where did Codsworth go? Oh, he went over to this house, didn't he? Oh. Great. Need to have a kit. Right, are you are you done in here or? Oh, sorry. Mr. Nicholas. Oh, that is a shame. You're a good guy. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, Concord. Pistol. We'll take. We'll, we'll we'll have a look around this house. See what we can find. And I think that's a good place to leave off. Yeah, oh, another stim pack. Yes, more bloke fly. Make. Yeah, bloke fly wants to look after his lush hair. That's why he has a fancy hairbrush on him. Oh, we're gonna break this lock pick. No, we're not. Because we're the best around. More pistols. Gonna be kitted out. Um. Let's have a look in here. Plastic fork. Oh. Probably get copyright striked for that. Okay. 
Right, I think that's a good place to leave off. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you could suffer through the whole thing. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep. Um, and we will think when we come back, we will make our way into Concord and see what happens there. Alright, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.